So welcome today to the second phase of the creation of the mandala of confidence. The first thing we're going to do now is to, uh, to erase gently, um, remembering that this middle line has to be fully erased. And the petals have to be erased gently because we still need some of the graphite to be, or the mark of the petal uh, to be present. As we're going to be um, drawing and using uh, coloring colors, color pencils, we still need a little bit of the graphite to be here. Um, so we do this in a very gently way. And this excess of eraser uh, can be taken out uh, gently also with the hand, otherwise your hand will be uh, with rests and remindings of, of graphite too, which is not ideal because then you can get dirt the rest of, of the paint. So I keep erasing and then uh, what we can also do that is a special brush for for taking that extra eraser that is left behind I'm going also to erase the circle the main circle around the petals um, but I have to make sure again that I can still see what I drew Then um, I'm going to pick up three colors. Uh, you can pick the colors you like, but then I want yellow, then a mid orange, orange, and orange. Three different colors. Uh, because I want to create the effect of color degradation. So the first step is going to be uh, redrawing above the pencil mark all the petals that we did there is some excess of graphite here um, and I'm going to fully erase the mid lines because um, I'm not going to do anything with that so we keep uh, sorry it broke the the points of, of the pencil broke so we keep um, just uh, making the main line of the of the pencils of of the petal sorry and I think I'm just going to sharpen this and then I'm gonna be right back there was a petal left here to draw And then uh, there are many ways to, to work this color degradation uh, with just one color. Uh, what I'm going to do is from the center, I'm going to make a pressure uh, with the color. I'm going to paint with pressuring a lot, of course, not to the point to break the point again. <laughs> but let's keep uh, some pressure because I want a very strong yellow here from the center it's like flourishing confidence and of course love uh, we could continue doing that then uh, next step is that in the middle of the petal I'm just going to paint but less pressure than from the center and then as I move towards the tip of the petal then I'm not even going to be pressuring a lot so just I'm going to keep this uh, just less pressure in the middle and towards the tip where I'm gonna paint with very loose so I'm gonna have as I said in the middle of the petal uh, in the center of the petal 
I'm going to show you. If I paint really strong like in this, and then see, I don't pressure that much, I create this effect w using the same color from strong to lighter color, from darker, the lar darker version or stronger version of that color to the same, to, to the lighter one. I'm repeating the process with the three colors so you can see what I mean. With only one color, you can make this effect. So this is what I'm trying to repeat here. A strong yellow in the center, middle pressure and almost no pressure on the tip. And right after I finish painting with the yellow color, we are going to take the orange dye that is light, the light orange. This is a little bit fluorescent, uh, but I like the color. You can use a, a one that is less shiny. So I'm just going to uh, paint just on top of the part that is stronger, that has a background, strong yellow background, just a little to give also a little bit of light and this also creates this degradation process that I that you will see in the end of the day it's going to be like light yellow in the tip of the petal then yellow and then we're moving to light orange as you can see here um, if I paint a little bit on on the strong yellow, it's not gonna be as strong as it is if I paint it in the lighter part. So the fact that I did the strong yellow background doesn't let me paint a very very strong uh, orange. Now uh, and it it gave. It, it gives a nice mixture just I'm um, with the with the darker orange I'm just going to um, make this line to separate so each petal can be noticed and just a little bit stronger in the center with the dark orange to create that effect of color degradation so centered it's gonna be like from dark orange to lighter orange and some part of a stronger yellow and then we move from stronger yellow to a lighter yellow and another thing is that you can do that on the opposites you can have a light yellow in the center and then all these color degradation in the tip of the flower it's up to you to decide I just wanted to, to show you how to do one option and then you I mean possibilities are infinite um, you can you can try doing it uh, or the other way I'm going to make a strong uh, center dots and just to reinforce a little and look how it is I think it's awesome you still can use other colors but this is my pick for for this center so let's move to the next part So now uh, we're going to paint the second um, bundle of petals. Uh, sorry, actually, I'm going to be painting the circle before I go to, to the second bunch of petals. And uh, remember that it's important not to fully erase the mark of this circle. Um, it's important to, to keep a fine line to to know what we're drawing of course and trying to keep it 
as circled as possible. You can also use a compass and uh, you know open the compass and put the circle there and and make the circle with the compass but it's important that you use your hand. So this is like a circled triangle somehow between the petals and I would like to to paint this but I'm not going to be applying much pressure it's very gentle actually what I'm doing now absolutely uh, gentle and um, well just we have to make sure they all look the same intensity so I think this was a little bit lighter than the second one that I drew so I'm just going to put a little bit more of pressure here and I'm gonna keep going uh, with the next uh, circled triangles there okay I'm already I'm painting just the last uh, parts of the circle and then uh, what I plan to do, I want to create in the middle, in between each petal, another effect. So I'm just going to um, make a paint but with much more pressure. So the petals that are yellow, they are lighter colored. So it's in the end, uh, what I'm going to do is that the circle is going to be above below sorry and the petals will be seen like a 3d effect it's like the flower it's on top of this magenta circle so it's important to delimitate very well the petals without painting with magenta on them but right in the middle of each petal we have to reinforce that tip of this circled triangle so it looks really nice and it it's gonna look amazing uh, I believe so it's easy to do and you're exercising uh, your motor uh, capacities in your in the hand so let's keep going to the next step So now, uh, now it's when we are going to work on the second bundle of petals. Again, I'm going to be erasing um, the petals in a gently way, but making sure this line in the middle of the petals really goes well as I erase. And of course, as we erase, there's this axis here. I'm erasing also the circle. Um, and there's a leftover of eraser that needs to be taken away. I'm gonna pick another a brush. Well, I couldn't find uh, the proper uh, brush. It looks like a little fun, but I'm going to use a clean and dry brush to take away all these uh, leftovers of eraser you can do it with the hand also or you can just blow it up but it's not ideal um, so when we do this with the hand is as I said the graphite in the hand is not good because then you can dirt the rest of the pin so for this step I'm going to pick two different uh, tones of red and I'm going to take the darker red to make the lines of the petals that I drew before now 
not sure if you remember that we mentioned that by drawing the petals this way we would have these uh, all these triangles so I'm gonna paint them I'm gonna make a little bit of pressure I'm gonna paint them all with as much pressure as I can without painting over the light magenta color And now, um, for the big part of the petals with same color, I'm just going to paint, but paint, but I'm gonna color, but almost without pressure. See, very light. Paint with me. Then this is the last petal. And see how beautiful they look just like this and then I'm with the lighter red I'm going to uh, color but with pressure Now I'm going to take a dark purple and just to reinforce a little bit of dark color in the tip without covering 100% of the coloring I did with the light red. va quedando así now uh, I'm going to pick three green colors one light mid dark and then another that is the darker one with the light one, I'm just going to remark the circle between the petals, just like this, and then I'm gonna start painting. So it's important, some people will need a very strong light to be able to, to see this and all these marks. Uh, and I want to explain here that this difference of colors that we're having from dark to light will help us make an effect that one flower is on top of the other, on top of, of this circle. This is the beauty of what we're doing here with this color degradation. So right after I have, we can use also this a piece of paper like this to give us support and avoid, uh, you know, making dirty the rest of the paint. But I'm just going to be trying to, to put my hand away from the graphite. So I'm gonna start just coloring very light, no pressure and enjoy. Come with me, color with me. Now, uh, once I'm finished here with the light green, I'm gonna pick uh, the mid green, uh, or the green that is not that dark, <laughs> and then just going to paint half uh, the space between the petals. It looks like a V. Let's do that together. Let's keep coloring together. And now I'm gonna pick the darker green and I'm just going to make a 
very delicate and line I'm not gonna paint over um, just reinforce a little bit the shadows around the circle very carefully uh, a little bit of the line um, of the border between the circle and the petals because I still think you this gives a great effect I like working always the color degradation with the, at least three colors but if you feel more comfortable using less colors it's it's fine I think this just gives uh, an idea of uh, as I said three uh, 3D, let's say so, and I like combining. If I end it with a darker color, one of the flowers, then the circle below has to be uh, lighter. But the borders, it's nice to have darker borders, it gives a beautiful effect in color. So, um, well, this is how it looks so far so beautiful and these are the three colors that i used for you to see you can use whichever you like but i love how it looks like an explosion now you're familiar with the technique so first let's erase these petals gently So taking out the leftovers of the eraser here, then I want to pick a color that is um, like bluish, but it's you know like violet bluish uh, blue. And uh, again, we're going to mark all the petals. And don't worry, if ones be are a little bit different from what you first draw. And now let's um, paint them, um, but not applying too much pressure and avoiding painting on the green circle because if we that, we have to be extra careful in the border. So let's keep coloring together. Once we're done with that step, I want to have a darker uh, effect here in the border with the green circle. So let's keep doing this for in all the petals. So look how beautiful it looks. It's beautiful. I, I love it. <laughs> and well, uh, this is going to help me. Uh, once we do the fine lines, it's gonna look even much better. And now uh, we're gonna start painting the stars. But in this case, we're not going to be erasing them all. I want to start first with the star that is supposed to be below all this structure. So I'm going to just start with this one first. 
Um, I'm just going to do the racing as you have seen before. I'm not going to be racing everything. And I'm, I picked a magenta. I wanted to make uh, the effect of a folded paper. So I picked the magenta. I'm going to trace this in right in the middle. And the structure of the left, it's going to be like on top. So, and, and then I'm going to make take this blue color that I like. You can pick the color of your choice or paint it in the same colors. But as I said, I wanted to make this effect of all the paper. And then I'm going to keep that uh, always. Uh, for example, in this will be also pink, blue, pink, blue, alternating uh, colors. So first I'm going to uh, color this triangle and very lightly, no pressure at all, very gentle. But once I've done this step, then I'm going to apply pressure on the tip of the of the start because I want this effect of folded, folded paper. Uh, so this part has to be darker a little bit and then I'm gonna do the same uh, with the blue color so I'm coloring very gently see that it's a different blue color from the blue of the petals uh, that I just painted then I'm gonna apply same pressure here a lot of pressure to make it darker and then um, just to make a tiny adjustment and let's continue with the next one I skip this one and I'm going to be painting this one that is below the rest of the structure So this is how it's gonna look. I could have made, I could have started with the the one, uh, the start on top, but I prefer to to start with with these ones. And um, to conclude, I'm just going to paint these tiny leaves in blue color. You can make it magenta or pink as you prefer. Um, I'm just gonna make them all blue um, we mark here and now we're gonna continue with the other parts of the star so I painted the four legs that are uh, below and now I'm gonna paint these legs that are on top again I begin by erasing gently and then it's gonna be a little bit different for example uh, this is blue and I'm going to make this part magenta as respecting the order of the colors and this one will go uh, here till the blue ends and then I'm gonna do the same for the other part uh, this part is, is pink or magenta, so this leg of the start has to be blue. So I keep alternating the colors and we have to be real concentrated not to, um, you know, to make, to put two pinks or two magenta uh, together. The, each leg of the start, they have to be respect the order of the colors. Every leg, uh, two legs that are together, legs of the start cannot be the same color. Um, 
and this is obviously uh, this part is it's on top of, of the legs that are, the four legs that we painted and again I'm doing the same effect first I'm going to paint gently with almost no pressure with the pink magenta um, all over the way on top of the blue parts and then uh, I think I'm gonna paint these parts too till the border with the blue and then uh, make dark here being uh, consistent with what I've done so far so let's repeat this process in the rest of the legs of the the stars oh well I forgot this leaf will be pink I gotta say that part of the of the painting did not record. Uh, apologies for that, but it's just it was just a matter of repeating same process here. Now we are going to be painting the last leg of the star, and as I explained before, um, I'm gonna put away the leftovers of of uh, the eraser. Um, then I have to be very concentrated here. Uh, this is blue, so the next part of the leg has to be pink or magenta. I go to uh, the end of, of this big triangle and in here I'm gonna go blue, blue, blue color, making the lines properly. I'm gonna be painting this part so um, it's nice because um, I mean you can see every leg alternating colors but again you can decide with if you want different colors or if you want to paint everything same color just make sure in the borders you can apply more um, pressure and have this col beautiful color degradation so last but not least, I'm going to be painting um, this uh, last leg of the of the star that is on top, but below the violet blue petals. So. Uh, I first I painted I decided to paint first this structure um, that is below as you can see this this part that is below and then uh, I wanted to paint these uh, parts well this this is the one below this is the one on top but you can choose the order you can paint first what is this this a part that is on top and then paint the one below it's it's completely up to you in here I made a totally different see the the blue parts are bigger than the pink ones the blue parts are on top of the pink pink ones and you have different proposals in here I, I color it different but at least you you have two options you can repeat it doing differently and it's gonna be fine. So now we're gonna start working on the lotus flowers. This is really nice and really important. Lotus lotuses are a symbol of high spiritual level and well I wanted to to paint to make them really light and very strong and lightning so I'm back uh, I'm gonna pick again um, yellow 
for the center center um, petal and I'm gonna paint half putting half pressure then I'm gonna take I'm gonna use a an orange and I'm gonna paint one of the petals on each side sorry a petal on each side and then I'm going to paint with orange the part that is unpainted I'm gonna leave some of the part of this petal yellow uh, this is something that I wanted to keep again you can do as you want this is just my my way of, of uh, I don't know visualizing um, these lotuses and then I'm gonna take a light red color and also paint on each side a petal and I'm gonna keep part of this petal orange as part of the sequence that I've made and this to me represents um, that we are never just one color I mean we have several colors <laughs> I'm just going to reinforce the fine line here for you the borders um, this for example this this part of the orange petal inside the red petal was very uh, thin so I wanted it to make it wider and then as an effect thinking always on, on color degradation the tip of the of the flower I'm gonna make it a little bit darker with the same color as we've worked before I'm gonna keep um, the orange color also the tip of the orange petals stronger a little bit stronger and then on top of the yellow uh, I'm just going to li fine line it and I'm gonna make the tip a little bit orange um, I can make a little bit of red but just a little and there you go I'm gonna repeat the same process in the rest of the of the lotuses let's do it together I hope you like it
let's start working on, on my Indian window. <laughs> um, I'm gonna pick two colors, but then I'm just going to paint with the first color. I don't want all the Indian windows to be same color, so I'm gonna be alternating to one in green, one in uh, turquoise. So again, uh, I'm gonna start with the green. This is like a mid-dark uh, green color. I'm going to make the border of my Indian uh, window and then I'm going just to make a fine line in the border of the lotus. As you can see, and I do have to avoid painting on the lotus with the grain because then it's going to be a funny color. So I gently make also reinforce the border between the stars. And then I gently will, gently will paint with mid pressure. Also because this is sometimes can be a little bit difficult. The Indian window is a little bit curvy and then we have the border of the lotus which you know cannot be very easy to, to, to paint. Um, there was an extra yellow here and I just covered it with, with the green color. And once I'm done maybe I can make some pressure in some part but that's depend on the taste of everyone I'm gonna make apply some more pressure here to make it look darker and in the tip of my window and I'm uh, gonna repeat that be consistent in the rest so I'm gonna jump this one and I'm gonna repeat the process in this one on this one We've, we're done with green now uh, let's repeat the same process with uh, with the left of the windows with turquoise uh, it looks like the same but I want this with a different color so let's move on with this four I'm gonna repeat the process with another color And I'm finishing the last uh, Indian window, as I call it, with a turquoise color. And this is how it looks like. I think I forgot to paint something here. Um, let me pick um, the magenta. <laughs> Sorry about that. I hadn't. I hadn't realized okay so this is how it look it looks like I hope you like it now we are going to move uh, towards the last step which is gonna be the last big flower below all this structure Wow. 
Well, let's erase. Um, let's erase everything. Uh, start uh, coloring gently uh, I don't want to apply much pressure to make these tiny um, petals and then we uh, of course make a line in the border with the Indian windows and then we start painting gently on these white space but almost without uh, pressure and again consistency it's important that everything looks the same and what I mean is it's like you know all the parts they look alike in terms of pressure not one darker purple than the other so I think we have reached the end to this tutorial um, I think it's a lot of work, it's been lots of work, but I think also uh, it's important for you to color, to think of colors and to express yourself non, in a non-verbal way through art. So next week we're going to have another tutorial about fine lines and details. I hope you have enjoyed. See you on the next tutorial. Bye!